Hi guys and welcome back to my weekly Shop My Stash. It's Thursday night again instead of my Tuesdays but we are still in artificial light. I'm really sorry but I just need to get this done. I'm determined to try and do this weekly if possible so I'm just going to very very quickly whiz through all my choices from last week, give you an update about them and then we'll go on and choose some new products. These videos do tend to be a little bit lengthy as I am learning. This is like my third week doing these now. So I will pop a timestamp in the description box and there's a pinned comment down below if you want to skip this bit and just jump ahead to the makeup selection. So I hope you've all had a really good week. I've um, enjoyed this. It's flown so quickly and I've tried most things. There are a couple of things as usual which are going to be rolling over and it's becoming a recurring theme for the rollover. So I'm going to have to try and concentrate on those. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a Thursday. Oh, will I do a Thursday one next week? I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. Maybe Wednesday next week. And um, yeah, I'll chat more about that at the end. So let's get on. There's been a couple of surprises in here. Some real, like, really lovely products and a couple that have been complete and utter flops. So we'll start off with on the positive note with something I've really, really loved that I didn't expect and it's been in my collection for ages so I'm so pleased I picked it out. And it was this Lord and Berry pencil. Now this was the metallic -y one. It is in it's antique bronze eye pencil. It's such a bad focusing. Will it focus now? I'm on a new fern, which clearly isn't behaving itself. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but yeah, this is a Lord and Berry antique bronze eye pencil. And this is the shade here. And as you can see, or not see, it is a beautiful sort of brown shade, almost bronze. And I used this on my upper lash line and it was absolutely gorgeous. It was fab and then really soft. You could get really close to the lash line. It just made your eyes look that little bit bigger. And this is going to be a firm favourite of mine from now on. I absolutely loved it. It was brilliant. So, yeah, that's going to be sort of... Um, I'm going to be sort of keeping that for sure. Like, I'm trying to work out out of my products what's okay, what's gone off, what I like, what I hate. But that was something I really loved. Let's go to a flop now. These are in no particular order. But this, as you know, I was like, I'm not very convinced with the packaging. It looks really cheap and nasty. So this is just a clear brow gel from Model Co. I've never used this. Hasn't been open. And um, I went out... Where is it? Last weekend? Yes, well, last Friday we went, me and my husband went out. So I thought, oh, do my brows. It First of all, it was stuck shut, like it being super glued. Then next thing I know, I put it back so I could show you. This is so hard. And basically, I hope this works. Look, the whole brow gel has set. How peculiar is that? So it's literally, look at it, it's like glue. Is that not the weirdest thing ever? So, yeah, that's <laughs> going out. I'm going to shove it back in there. But how peculiar. So, yeah, that is going to be going in my declutters for November. <laughs> just ridiculous. Um, right, let me just go. I'm just going to grab things as we go. This was really, really lovely. It was the L'Oreal uh, Single Eyeshadow. It's a chrome shine in the shade... Focus. Nothing is going to focus today. Oh, hang on. Brown Lame. It says down here. Excuse me. I will um, cut all that umming and eyeing out. Why does that not want to focus? My other phone used to focus really easy. Oh, there we go. If I take it away, it focuses. I've got to learn these things. So, yeah, Brown Lame. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. A little bit sparkling, glittery as well, but. It's nice for a night out, but equally really nice as a daytime shadow. So I'm keeping that. So yeah, I was thinking I'd maybe get rid of a few of my singles, but so far they're proving pretty good. This bronzer is a kind of beauty bronzer and it's in the shade of Blissful Bronze. And you know, I really wanted to love this. But it just sat a bit strange on my face. And I don't know why. And I used it virtually every single day. I tried it. And I don't know. It looks like it should be really good. But it just didn't quite work as I wanted. So I actually think I'm going to declutter that. Um, I have got bronzers that I prefer. And to be honest, 
for me to actually pan a bronze or even like finish it would be such a rare event and i'm pretty sure i'll be getting more in beauty boxes next year as well but i've still got a few in my collection so yeah strangely i'm going to declutter that i did think i'd be keeping it but nope it's gone uh this is like a blusher from carl lagerfeld and it was really peculiar i thought it was gonna be gorgeous but actually it's more like a blusher topper or maybe as a highlighter and as you can see there it just really it's a topper but i did enjoy it as a topper so i'll probably keep it for now Um, it may go out in the future declutter Um, i am aware the lighting's shocking <laughs> I th i'm not going to say it anymore so i am apol i'm apologizing i'm really sorry Um, i had this highlighter from Ciate and it is the glow to highlighter in the shade starburst um i have got two of these this was a duplicate i think and actually it was a really pretty highlighter i enjoyed it i didn't use it that much actually i forgot about it and dropping down dropped down the um bottom but i did use it a couple of times oops just dropped it i'm not the biggest highlighter wearer but i am trying a bit more especially if i've got more matte blushes i'm tend to maybe put this on either just very lightly before i do my blush and do my blush over it um and it's ever so golden but it's really nice um yeah and i enjoyed using it so i'll hang on to that for now this is the face powder which was the laura mercier and it's meant to be that the under eye brightening powder and as you, if you remember last week i really enjoyed the by terry hyaluronic something or other powder i really enjoyed that this is also really nice so i now have two powders that i like i can't believe it i think maybe before i was just putting too much on my under eyes maybe but it sits really nicely on the skin you can definitely use it as a face powder which is what i did and yeah i enjoyed using it Still haven't tried the Hangover Hair Elixir. That needs to roll on again for third week. So I must use it this next week. This was the Laura Mercier um, Foundation Primer. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, one of my subscribers had mentioned in the comments that she wasn't a massive fan, I think. But um, I didn't mind it, if I'm honest. It was just like a souped up moisturizer, if I'm honest. It didn't do anything special but to be honest i didn't hate it and i enjoyed using it and this is almost finished so i'll probably pop this into a project next year it's nearly done uh, i used this one day on one of my days off and when i first put it on it looked so white i was like casper the ghost and it just seemed definitely far far too light but however once it was on my face a little bit and i finished the rest of my makeup popped some bronzer over my face and things it actually looked really nice which confused me because it looked so pale when I, I first put it on so i'm definitely going to keep it but what i did like i really liked the coverage and i liked how it looked on my skin so i think i might even pick this up in a slightly darker shade and then um, try that as well but this is the one two zero in natural finish anti-pollution what's the shade i don't know natural finish <laughs> oh here we go buff chamois there we go so yeah I, I really enjoyed it it was a really nice foundation it lasted ever so well all day maybe fractionally too pale however it didn't look ridiculous once i'd done my makeup as i say so yeah a thumbs up for me Um, i used this slightly and it seemed okay Um, this is the concealer and i only have a couple of concealers in anyway so i'll hold on to this try and use it a little bit more and um, it was fine still haven't used the wonder balm that needs to get carried over um spoiler alert i've had my hair colored and cut i was trying to grow my blonde out and um and I was virtually, I was down to my ears. I was about, I had you know, a good virtual like eight, nine months worth of growth of grown out. However, I've had it done. I feel so much better. It's really bright and lovely and blonde and I'm happier. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I need to use my hair products. That's where I was going with that. I'll try them at the weekend actually. I had this FSS Beauty Lip Balm. Really nice. I actually, it felt like it was... I think it maybe set a little bit on the top so i dug my finger in and then smushed it about and then it seems absolutely fine underneath that little skin and now it's working lovely again and it's a really nice balm i put it on before i put my makeup on and then it just helps to soften my lips up and i prepare them for my makeup and it was lovely 
This little perfume was gorgeous. It's a little Versace. It was a gift with purchase. And I've nearly finished it. Not much left. As you can see, almost done. So, yeah, that'll probably go into a little project as well to finish off. But it was really nice. I haven't used this MAC liquid lip colour. So, I'm going to roll that on. And if I haven't used it um, by next week, I'm going to declutter it. <laughs> I've made an executive decision. Um, this lip product was really nice. This was this Gokos one. And it's got the lipstick on one end and then the little strange little applicator thing on the other which kind of just puts a little bit on color was really nice it lasts really well with this however i've used both sides the like the bullet the mini bullet was really nice this was nice however i kept winding this in winding it up what i hadn't realized i was holding the end so when i was winding that in i was at the same time winding this up so i ended up by mistake winding the bullet up and as you can see it got it wound up, got smushed in the lid, and I damaged the tip of my lipstick. However, oh, there's a lot of refocusing going on. Um, it's absolutely fine. It still works nicely, and the colour is gorgeous. It lasted really well as well, so I'm really happy with that. It was a nice little um, find. I never tried anything from that brand before. The eyeliner, eyebrow pencil. If you remember, it looked like it had a bit of bloom on the end. I um, snapped the end off, actually. I probably could do shaping it a little bit more. But it was a really nice pencil. Let's see if I can get you to focus that way. It was a really nice pencil. And it worked okay. And the colour's actually really good for me. So I'm going to keep that. It seems okay now I've um, taken off the, the yucky bit of product. This was a gorgeous lip topper. I use it more as a topper than a gloss. It has a bit of a pink shift to it. It's like a peachy pink. Don't know if the pink shift is showing up there, but quite sheer and it's a definite sort of either very neutral gloss or works beautiful as a topper. Yeah, I enjoyed using it a lot. I topped it on top, <laughs> topped it on top of my Huda Beauty matte lipstick in the shade. What is it in? I used to know. Oh, Venus. Yeah. So this was really lovely as well. But the two paired well together, if you remember from last week. It's quite a comfortable matte. Um, so matte liquid lip. One of my most comfortable formulas that I do have. There's, I'm going to be decluttering most of my liquid lipsticks, I think. But this one works. So I'll keep hold of that. Surprisingly, this new look lipstick was lovely. I really enjoyed wearing it. Um, it was very, very nourishing on my lips, really moisturising and a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. A little bit deeper than what I would normally wear, but I felt very comfortable wearing it so that can stay in my collection. Still haven't used the spotlight. Oh, did I? No, I did. I did use this as once on my inner corner. It was very golden. Um, However, I think it might be quite nice as an all-over lid colour one time for an easy makeup look. So I'm going to hold on to it in my collection, take it out of my weekly makeup. I have tried it once, I did remember. This was just like black water. It is the next black mascara. And it does nothing apart from put a bit of um, black colour on your lashes. It doesn't thicken them, it doesn't lengthen them. It literally is just like black food colouring on your lashes so that is going to get decluttered just garbage I used this once and this was the Becca um, illuminating stuff <laughs> um, it is all right but it's not really much of anything and I'm not sure what to do with it really sometimes I think I'd use it as a, a lid colour as like a base almost and then you could use it with your mascara, not with your mascara, do not use it with your mascara, with your foundation. And it is pretty. And maybe you could just use it as an all over base. I don't know. Maybe I might put this into a project because there's about half left, maybe just slightly less than half. So yeah, I might hang on to that and put it into a project pan at the start of the year. 
maybe <laughs> i use the brow gel this is the ardair brow fiber um sorry not a gel a fiber and it was actually all right it looks ever so scary there but in reality it's it wasn't too dark at all and it worked all right um i didn't put loads on i was quite light-handed with it so yeah we'll keep it going for now and see what it's like it might be something that I need to declutter in the future, but I don't hate it. And it, the colour certainly worked well for me. And it didn't dump loads of colour on my brows either. So for that, I liked it. So yeah, it's a brow fibre and it was in the shade. I want to say blonde. Did it say blonde on here? I feel like it had a, a shade on it. Or in light. So yeah, so it's probably the most appropriate shade for me that they do, unless you do a very light, but no, it was okay, it worked well. I used this once, it was the Illamasqua Liquid Liner. And it is a, I think this one was more like a, like a fiber tip, if I remember correctly, rather than a brush. I think I thought it was going to be a brush, but actually it was, yeah, I've used it. It's just, it's a lot more solid, very black. The first time I did it, I've used it a couple of times. The first time I was too heavy handed and it went a bit messy, a bit splodgy and things. The second time I knew what it was going to be like. So I used a much lighter hand. It was really easy just to use the tip along the lash lines. Um, yeah, and I actually quite liked it. So we'll hang on to it for now. So if I'm knocking you, we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I mean, once I've tried everything, I can then try and reduce my collection a little bit further and sort of declutter a few things still haven't done the sponge so that's going to go next week i'll probably use that on saturday when i go out the little eyeshadow palette from mellow was quite nice it's not my favorite actually i think it's just more the colors um i thought i'd enjoy it a bit more than what i did i have used it a couple of times or in like addition with other palettes and i think for me it's just that the shimmers um, my regular type of shimmers but the mattes actually were really really nice and I mean the shimmers are fine but they're very coppery as you can see just a little bit maybe too orange for me but I'm gonna keep using it just now well you know put it back in my in my collection and this might be one that I might pass on to my sister in the future she's a redhead so I feel that would probably suit her really well but yeah, it's just a little bit too coppery, but then it's nice just sometimes to put it on like the outer half of your lid, you know, and have like a more, my more kind of like mushroomy, goldeny shades towards the inner half of the lid and maybe this, like to deepen it up a bit on the outside. But yeah, I didn't hate it, but it's just not my favourite and I wanted to like it more than what I did. Still haven't used the setting spray. Why do I use setting sprays? I will, oh, did I? Hang on a minute. I think I used this last weekend. Ooh, did I? Let me just spray it and see if I, the smell reminds me if I, if I used it or not. Do you know what I think I did? Yes, it's really coconutty. Okay, I'm going to keep it in another week because I don't have loads of setting sprays anyway. And I'll try it again this weekend. I can't remember what it was like if I did use it, so we'll hold on to that. And I still haven't used the Huda Glowish base, so we'll try that again. Well, again, we'll try it at some point this week, hopefully. Cool, right? I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff and we will start the makeup selection. Right then, guys, so here we are with primers. Um, what do I want for mainly? I'm thinking my main thing is for Saturday night. What would I like to try? I'm not sure. What about? Okay. Oh, no, not that one. Let's try. Ah, interestingly, so I've got the other Becca. Remember I had the, um, the little doe foot one. So here is a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. So I'm going to use this as my primer. Do I just maybe use a little plain, simple one as well? Maybe get two. Okay, so I'm going to get that and I'm going to have Ah, um, Kim, you were talking to me about the Laura Mercier saying that you had one in a white packet and you thought it was the same. I think, is this one that you had? This is the Pure Canvas Primer and that's in the white tube. 
this is the foundation primer so i think they're different so oh i might try this one then because you said you weren't a fan so i haven't tried this at all it's still in the little like sort of gift card thing so i'm going to pull this one out as my hydrating primer just to see if i like it or not purely as a bit of like feedback from somebody that's watched and said something that they liked or didn't like that's quite a good way for me to then pull that out and try it rather than me just bumbling around in the dark cool right that's the primers chosen all right so we've got foundations setting sprays and powders here <clears throat> i'm getting down my foundations so much um I've finished two foundations this week. They were part bottles. So I'm just wondering whether I should just try and pull something out here just to get rid of it. Um, and just to see. I have got like a couple I've already got out and ready that I'm using anyway. So let's just get the, the Lumine um, Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. Mm -hmm. Do I? Or do I try this? No, I'm going to try this actually. The Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. So this, if oh God, this looks quite old. I hope it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll give that a go. Give it a shake. It might look a bit better. It looks a bit pale, but we'll see. It's not as pale as that. That's really pale. So this is in the shade. So it's Maybelline in the shade ivory so it may be a little bit too pale but we'll try it and see and then i'm going to try another powder this time i'll try one of the laura mercier ones but this is a glowing prime and um, glowing powder by the looks of it translucent but that certainly looks like it's got a bit of shimmery glow let's have a look it looks a bit yellow actually or is it like a banana mm, i hope it's not a banana we'll give it a go and see anyway i'm not quite sure what it is it just says translucent but you can see it's definitely got a bit of a shimmer come oh no that's now that's got the shimmer okay but again that says translucent oh, this is a translucent ah this is a powder glow and that's just a regular powder i'm going to try the powder glow Let's try one. So my last two have just been like really like regular powders. So let's see if this makes a difference or not. Because I like the Laura Mercier formula of the last one. So yeah, we'll try like the little glowy version. I've got a setting spray already, so we don't need any more. Blushes and bronzers. So bronzers, I'm going to try. What will I try? So we've got the Ciate bom Bombu <laughs> Bamboo Bronzer. <laughs> Bamboo Bronzer. Um, same sort of packaging as what that last little highlighter was from them. Cool. We'll give that a little go and see. I like the fact it's got a little embossing on it. Part of me wants to save this for a project in case there's something where you have to get rid of like an embossed pattern. But we'll give it a go and see what it's like. And then blusher. I feel like my last blushes have been a bit of a disaster. So I want something that's going to be nice, that I'm going to enjoy. I really enjoyed my last Boutonique Beauty one, but it was a shimmery one. So I'm not going to choose that. I think I want like a bit of a shimmery bronze. Oh, this is nicer. The Annabelle Minerals. That's a nice one. Oh, and I've not, I've not used this for ages. I'm going to try this, actually. The Bare Minerals. Look at the state of that package. I got this. It's, I've got this so long ago. I'm so close to hitting pan on that, surely. Um, I absolutely loved it. I think I got it in a Look Incredible box. I'm nearly, surely I'm nearly at pan. Oh, if I can hit pan this week, that'd be great. I think this is a really lovely bronzer and blusher. Really gorgeous blush. So I'm going to do that for my blush. Um, and I've got my bronzer, haven't I? Cool. So we've got powder highlighters and liquid highlighters. So we shall choose one of each, I think. I'm feeling a little bit reckless. <laughs> um, let's try. Let's try, let's try. Ooh. This, I know I like it already. Is that cheating? So this is the Becca. Um highlighter in opal is so lovely it's quite goldeny but it is nice i'm going to get that one and then liquid i think i've got a duplicate in this i've got one that's already open is that the same 
yeah the beauty so i'll get this beauty crop glow milk because i've got one still in the package package here so i'll try this one and then if i like it if i don't i've got this other one here so if i don't like it i can pass that new one on to somebody but um yeah we'll give that a go what's this okay so that's that I feel like I'm getting a little bit more decisive. What do you reckon? I think I am. It's today the day I pick out a little palette. I think I might. I just think I might. I'm feeling like I kind of want to. What's this? I think this is all shimmery, like a shimmery bronze, shimmery cheek, shimmery highlighter. Zoeva Screen Queen. Ooh, see, I've not really used that, have I? Is it a bit too glowy? What's that blusher like? Is it more like a... See, I think that's more like a topper, isn't it? I'm gonna pack that away just now. Unless I get one of my Revolution, like, um, cheap palettes out. I know I said before, I was gonna... I mean, I might just get it out and just try it over a few weeks. Oh, no, I'll get this. I didn't even see that one before. May. Um, so we've got a little blush and a highlighter. Little duo. I got a bit excited then. I've not seen this for so long. I forgot all about it. Cool. So it's Coral Blusher and Sun Kissed Highlighter. Really cute. So we'll give that one a little go. Little jewel. This drawer has turned into such a surprise little drawer. It's my single shadows. And so far, they've really been sort of killing it. You know, they've, we've had some really good ones. So... So we get something really old again. We've got an old Rimmel one. It looks a bit scabby. Is this one I could declutter? It's got a bit of a dip going on. It's my kind of shade. But although it's got a bit of a pinky shift, hasn't it? So it's a bit mushroomy to begin with. And then, I don't know, I quite like that. A bit like Heather almost. And the shade is Lord knows because we can't see it because it had the security sticker on it. I think I got this in a budget budget bin in um savers i think you, know, you can sort of pick them up for about 60p and things i think that's where i got that from i got loads of them um all different shades so yeah we'll give that a go i think i'm gonna really like that yeah lovely that's my single so i get one out of this bit here as well i think i will let's try what's this so, a Forgive Me Susie. It's a liquid eyeshadow in Love Letter. You'll have to trust me on that. Let's see what's this like. Is it dried up? Oh, no. Oh, wow. So, you could maybe use that as a base first, then pop a little um, shadow on the top. Lovely. I'm going to give that a go and see. I think I've only used it a couple of times when I first got it. So we'll see if it still looks okay or not. I think that's probably a birch box that I got that in. I'm also really enjoying trying my eyeliners. Last week's was such a lovely surprise. That metallic sort of bronzy eyeliner was just gorgeous. I'm so happy I tried it. Let's see what we're going to do now. Um, I feel like maybe just seeing if there's another one sort of similar to last week, just to give me a nice little um, surprise. What's that? Why is this a line shade glam? What's glam about this? Let's have a look. You do forget. Oh, hello. Interesting. I didn't realise it was the same one. So this is called... Dore Eye Pencil, that's it, and it's again, it's another Lord and Berry, so I really enjoyed the formula last week, it looks very similar, but maybe a bit more like antique gold, I'm going to give that a go, it's so soft, it might even be nice on the lower lash line, um, but again, on maybe days when you don't want to wear eyeshadow, it might be nice having a slightly thicker um, upper lash um eyeliner just along that lash line and it'll just look like eyeshadow and a liner combined you know just as a little hint of color so yeah we'll give that one a go and then liquid wise what have we got let's try what shall we try i've got so many things in here
let's try this Ica black magic liquid liner and wide lash so it looks like a bro oh gosh you can do really fine lines with that wow so you can do so so fine or a bit thicker cool it's, it feels and there's still lots of product in there it's going really easy very black drying quite quickly so yeah we'll give that one a little go fabulous that's the liner draw done so for my mascaras i'm going to choose ones that i think are either one going to be rubbish or two maybe dried up just in the way of trying to like get down and declutter or like maybe my used part used ones and i think it's a really good way of just yeah decluttering this and saving my newer box ones that I haven't maybe opened yet so that then I've got something to really work with going into the new year you know and it just helps to reduce everything down that little bit easier so what have we got here we've got a noir hypnotic what's this oh long com god when did I get this what well, doesn't do you know that doesn't feel bad it feels like there's still a bit of product on that cool right i think this is probably quite old i really don't remember getting it i wonder if i either got that in an advent calendar it'll either be an advent calendar or it'll be look incredible but i think it's more likely going to have been an advent calendar if you've had one of these and you remember where we got it from will you please let me know because i don't remember so put that in there and then browse 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 we will use okay what's Mm, I'm just trying to see if there's anything that's going to be, that will do me. Well, so I need a brow gel, don't I? Okay, we'll use this sheer, this sheer, shell, shella clear eyebrow defining gel. I've used that before and I did used to like it. So see if it's still, um, so good and working all right. And then pencil wise, oh, what's this? Was this like a brow one? Is this an HD? What is it? What is it? So it's a brow highlighter from HD Brows. This was in that HD Brows kit that I got years ago from Latest in Beauty. And it was gifted to me. I've got that in it as well. Quite a few other things. Some nice pencils. Oh, that might be really interesting just to use that. It looks a bit dark. But let's give that a go and see if it makes my brows look any better. Um, it's got a built-in sharpener on the lid. But I still want a brow pencil. So we're getting down them. I'm going to use what's this as well? What on earth is this? What is it? Okay, so that's an eyeliner that should not be in there. It's in the wrong drawer. Um, but um, but um, but um, but um, um, I haven't got that many things left now, actually. So I've got a gimme brow goof proof. Gimme Brow Eyebrow Stylist from Sleek in Medium. It's probably too dark. Or an HD Brows. Let's try the HD Brows, actually. So we've got like we've got a few HD Brow products. And this is a Brow Define. And oh goodness me, what shade is that? Anyway, let's have just have a look. It looks probably like a little bit dark, but sometimes with a fine hand. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. We'll give it a go. And again, it has a built-in sharpener, which is quite cool. Um, I do realise that going into the new year, I need to get a better way of trying lipsticks. <laughs> I might just try and do like a daily short for a different lipstick for every day, you know, and just try them. Right, we've got glosses. Okay, I'm going to be going out. I wonder if I'm just trying to get my lip colour first. Oh, let's just choose a gloss that will probably work for me. Okay, what's this? Is a revolution in the shade Honor. Is this a gloss? It is. Quite a brown gloss. I think I might get a pinky one as well. I do, get, I, I do wear glosses, so I'm not too concerned about that. Hmm. 
Ooh, let's get this one. What's this? Is Revolution Sheer Brilliant in the shade. Is it Pose? I think it's Pose. So this looks quite pinky. Yeah. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, it smells of. Oh, gosh, what is it? Is it peach? Or pineapple? Oh, gosh, I know it smells fruity anyway. Okay, so I've got a couple of glosses. Don't shoot me. We need to have... Are these glosses as well? Have these slipped over? Back you go. Pencils or crayons. Let's try. What's this from... Emoline Metamorphosis Velvet Longwear Lip Definer. Cool. Let's try that. What is it? Oh, gosh. Maybe not. No. A bit too red for me just now. Don't feel that brave. Maybe for Christmas time I'll get the red out. Let's try. Can you see one? Okay. What's this Cocoa Honey one here? I've just seen it right at the front. What's this? Or this? So we've got a Lardenberry Made to Measure lip colour. This looks quite nice. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's like, oh, it's like a very brownie nude, although it might go quite well with the gloss. Oh, we've got the Cocoa Honey. Just Cocoa Honey. And that is, again, it's a bit... Oh, no, I don't like that one just yet. See, I should just... That's the reason probably to try it. But I'll get that brown one, I think. Yeah, we'll get the nudie one and give that a go. Gosh, that was a long segment. Sorry, guys. Oh, lipsticks. So, bullets. I love bullet lipsticks. I have to say, it's my favourite thing to wear, lip-wise. Apart from gloss, I love gloss as well. Let's see. What have we got? What have we got? What's this little one here? It's a bit pale. We have a drop of sherry. What's that? Oh, that's an interesting shade. It's not a colour I'd normally wear. So it's Bobby Brown. Okay, let's get this Bobby Brown one. That looks nice. Um, oh, yes. Well, it's a little quite pink for me, but maybe I can combine it. But um, it looks nice. It's in the shade. Is that sand? Oh, my goodness. Let me stick it under my magnifier. What does that say? Sand wash pink. Not sandwich. Sand wash pink. Little Bobby Brown mini. That's all we need from this category. Lip balms. And, oh, and liquid lips. Gee whiz. Okay. I need to get down these liquid lips, don't I? I really do. Let's try... I'm trying to see if there's a colour that shouts to me. Do you know what I mean? And that I really, really want to try. I'm trying not to choose something that I'm so comfortable with. I want to try and choose something that's a little bit more out there. What's this? This looks a bit pale and pink something that i won't like so i'm going to try this just so i've tried it so i can get rid of it okay that's really is it more of a summery color though guys it is i need something a bit more seasonally appropriate oh metallic what the heck from sleek oh yes it's like a really deep berry okay let's give that a go See, that's not even my type of shade, but I'm willing to give that a go because it looks... I mean, I might really like that. It feels very thin and watery. So I need a lip balm. I'm going to do... Oh, I've got a lip plumper here. Do I try that? And another plumper. Maybe I need to get some plumpers out. <laughs> Do <Ooh>, uh. <laughs> um, I? 
Oh gosh, there's a little liquid lip there, little nicks. Everything's been falling out, hasn't it, and transferring over. Let's use. Let's use yours, yours, yours. Well, something I've already opened really, so I can maybe get rid of it. Let's try this. Um, I've had this for ages and it is, was it Ballade? And I think it's meant to be like a Crosspital lip balm and a cuticle cream. It feels okay. So we'll give that a little go and see. The packaging is super cute though, isn't it? Look at that. How gorgeous. Love it. I love good packaging. I do appreciate it, honestly. Right, I've got some of my palettes here. This is a different selection to what I brought out last week. And let's see what we can pick there's some things in here i really want to use um i could bought this last year and i still haven't used it but i kind of want to have the time to appreciate it i might bring this out for december and i kind of want to have time to do a proper video on it because i've not even swatched it and i love it well i think i love it but i want to start using it um I'm trying to think if there's something here that i haven't tried yet or would be interesting just to use a little bit more there's a few things I definitely want to dedicate a, a video to. And that's this Mystic, Mystic Forest from the state. This is fairly new. Mm. It's a bit more autumnal than winter. And no, I'm not going to choose that. Oh, I know. I've just seen something. What I think I'm going to get. I think it's my iconic one. I've not used it in so long. There's this. But let me just check a couple of colours in here and see. This is a Radiance palette. We'll pick the packaging from Joy Beauty. Oh, that's isn't that fabulous? Again, you kind of feel that needs a video to be appreciated. And it's too short of a week. I don't think I'm going to love it enough. I feel like this needs to be one of my um, like pan and every palettes to really play with it. But equally, if it doesn't come up in my pan in every palette, I'm not going to play with it. A lot of glitters in that one. Not what I want right now. I think I'm probably going to go with... Oh my god, my Jaclyn Hill palette. I've not used this in the longest time. Oh, this is like one of the first palettes that I bought when I started doing my YouTube channel. Maybe I just need to give that a little bit of love this week. Do you know what? I'm going to pull this back out, just see if I still enjoy it. It's just a little bit of fun to play with. It'll complement the other ones. I'll show you quickly the, um, I thought I just heard my front door. Hang on. That's so strange because nobody should be here. You, know, you hear something and you're in the house by yourself and it freaks you out because it's at night. <laughs> Don't know what else. Yeah, but this is the other one I was going to look at. I might pick this out um, once we get into December because... There's definitely sort of colours I really enjoy when I go out. I'll have a few more nights out. But is that not a gorgeous palette? I really enjoyed using this. It's a really soft formula, actually. This would be something that's really easy to um, hit pan on. But, yeah, I'm going to bring that out, I think, in December. So, yeah, just remind me <laughs> when I get there that I want to pull that out later. Cool. Right, then. So, yes, yeah, so I've got those palettes there. And then these are the ones that you saw with my... I'll lift you up a bit with my smaller palettes in there more than enough palettes for anybody i know but what can i say um that's just what it is right i'm just going to choose a little perfume as well and then we will um round up hello i'm gonna bring you back down for my perfume i've just picked up this little sample i've got a little molten brown and it's an orange and bergamot eau de toilette it's only a little mini but look i really want to use it i can't remember what it smells like I think it's gorgeous, so I'm probably going to wear that on Saturday night. <laughs> Might have a little spray tomorrow just to make sure I like it, but it's only one and a half mils, so I'm really heavy-handed with perfume, so it'll only last me probably one night. But, um, yeah, that's what it's going to be. So let's pull everything together and see what we've got collectively. Hokey dokey. So what have we got? We have got, let's just start from the base up. Um, so this is going to take a little bit of doing, but bear with me. I quite like just sort of working my way through it and just rediscovering again. So we have got the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. So that's that one there that 
I think my friend Kim doesn't like, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. And then to go with that, we have got the the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I mean, I've had this for years. You are meant to ditch them, but you know what? As long as it smells okay and it doesn't look funky on my face, we will go with it. And then foundation-wise, sit the camera down. Um, we've got this sort of tinted moisturizer beauty make you look beautiful from huda and then i've picked out this maybelline ivory <laughs> foundation i don't know why i can't talk i am i am i am going to use my complexion sponge from so eco i promise i promise i really do and then we have got a setting spray from scent Lux, which i promise to use again i'm pretty sure i used this once last week but i can't really remember for sure so we're going to use that again and that go in there as well cool cool get my little primer in there there that'll do i'll probably take this I'll keep it in the packet for now because I'll read a little bit about it. It says, like, I think it's a silicone primer. Oh, silicone free primer. Um, la, 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 breathable, protective barrier, extends makeup wear, hydration, wake up call, la, 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 smooths, locks in hydration, replenishes skin, promotes long term moisture recovery. Cool, if you say so. Right then, so we've got that and that. Right, so that's our base, isn't it? So, bronzer we have got the bamboo bronzer oh from ciate apart from you can tell i'm not really a powder wearer and i have got the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder glow we will see what that's like it looks so shimmery so yeah bronzer was the bamboo bronzer from ciate blush i have got the bare minerals blush it is honestly such a gorgeous blush. I hope it's still okay. Can't wait to use that. <clears throat> and then we have got this little blush highlighter duo from May. Really nice, actually. I'm sure I've used this quite a bit and I quite enjoyed it. There's quite a bit of disturbance on here. So we'll give that another little go. And then I have a separate highlighter here. Just beautiful. Which is also from Becca. Got a bit of a Becca thing going on. I've not used her product, products for ages. And now they're just showing up every week. But that's okay. Is that all of the face? I think it is. So let's go on to eyes. We've got the single shadow from Rimmel. I just think it looks lovely. And I really like that slight sort of duochrome shift about it. I think it looks really pretty. And I have used it quite a bit. So I must quite like it. But we don't know what the shade is. So I'm sorry. And then we have got the um, Jaclyn Hill palette as my other eyeshadow. Oh, it is so long since I've used this. Haven't even hit pan in anything, but I must be getting maybe close on this one. This is like the original formula, the best formula, um, thankfully. So I'm pleased about that. But I think it was the second one. This I got the um, the shades on the back. I think the very first round didn't have them on the back. I think it was was it somewhere else. I can't remember. <clears throat> but yeah, but this is the original formula, which I'm really, really happy about. Did I? Oh, yeah. And then we've got this liquid shadow as well from Forgive Me Susie. And it looked like, oh, it was quite sheer, wasn't it? So I might use it as a, like a lid primer as well. But we'll see what it's like. And I'll let you know next week. We've got quite a lot of pencil things happening. So we have got the eye pencil, which was... Again, another like golden shade where it was one of these. Oh, here it is. This one here. It's like antique gold. So that's one eye pencil. We've also got a black magic liquid liner. Super thin and also can create a thicker line as well. So it's really black, dried ever so fast. I'm looking forward to trying that. And then brow wise, we had so we've got a brow pencil here from HD Brows. And it just looked sort of like that. Not too bad. 
so i think that would work to work with me and then alongside that we had like the brow highlighter pencil it doesn't look like it's shimmery it looks more like like pencil concealer if i'm honest it looks a little bit too dark but i'll try it because if it's no good then at least i can sort of pass it on so we've got those pencils there we've got the mascara from Lancome. i've got no idea where i got this from but it looks it feels quite wet still so we'll give that a bash we have got the clear brow gel from Shella, which I know I used to like quite a lot. So we'll give that one another go. Oops, I forgot. We have got the liquid highlighter from the Beauty Crop and it is the Glow Milk. So I'll try that as a liquid highlighter. I'll also try it as a, like a highlighting base mixed in with my foundation or underneath my foundation for a bit of a glowy finish a whole lot of glow going on but it is going out season isn't it um got my lip balm which is like a little peach it still feels okay mm, I'll, I'll see what it's like i'm not sure if it smells slightly off it might do but we'll give it a go and see it probably needs to go out but you know you can always use it as cuticles um a cuticle cream which is less worrisome than popping it on your lips quite a few lip products talking of lips and um, we have got the lip pencil from Lord and Berry which is a bit brown as you can see but um brown over lining is quite the thing now isn't it so I'll give it a go who knows if I look stupid I look stupid and I want to do it again but I will try it and see we have got this <laughs> excuse me this matte lip color was it on oh, it wasn't it? it was a gloss wasn't it? it was this one here it's actually quite nice isn't it shiny? It's really glossy, that. And that's a Revolution one in the shade Honor. That looks quite nice. Give that a good old go. Then we had this lovely, actually, it's dried down really nice. Look at that metallic um, liquid lipstick. How unusual is that? And it has got that like metallic shift. I mean, I might need a gloss on top of it. But that's okay because I have got that pinky gloss here, haven't I? Which should probably work really well on top of that. Let me just pop a bit on top just to see what it would look like. See, I think that gloss works really well on top of that matte lipstick. Oh, it's gone more plummy. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so we've got that as well, obviously, that I've just talked about. Then we have got the Bobbi Brown, which is quite pink. That's not it. Where is it? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Which is my puppy brown? There we go. Gorgeous. Was that that one? Oh, I don't even know where it is anymore. But anyway, oh no, that was flat. Oh, I need to get better at making YouTube videos, guys. Are you still here? <laughs> um, I have got this Last Chance Saloon for the MAC liquid lipstick i think that's going to be on its way out next week if i'm honest i uh, have got the malton brown orange and bergamot perfume looking forward to using that that'll be an empty for next week and these two i really need to give them a go um the wonder Balm from percy and reed still week three now and the hangover elixir is this now week two week three i think they've both been in for three weeks now so yeah i'll give them a go and that you lovely people is absolutely everything thank you so much for sticking around i'm now about to go and take over my husband on babysitting duty so i shall edit this video and hopefully i'll have it up by the end of today so it is thursday the 23rd 23rd or 24th of november um yeah fabulous i shall see you all it's 24th Thursday the 24th of November. Yeah, so I'll see you all again next week with this. Um, let me know if you've tried anything, what your favourites are, etc, etc. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Mwah! Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you all later. Bye.